To paraphrase an old adage, those that view the glass as half full often see opportunity where others don't. Pillow Pets founder Jennifer Telfer is one of those people. Telfer's entrepreneurial sense spotted an opportunity when she observed her son flattening his favorite stuffed animal so he could sleep with it. In 2003, Telfer created Pillow Pets, a product line of cute stuffed animals that unfold into soft and snuggly pillows. This entrepreneurial spirit allowed Telfer and her husband to transform an idea into a multi-million dollar business, growing the product line to also include blankets, slippers, and other items, as well as striking licensing deals with Major League Baseball, the NCAA, and Disney, to name a few. Jennifer, my wife's always been creative and she's come up with a lot of great ideas. She's always said to me, if you can take something that's good and make it better, well then that's, instead of reinventing the wheel, that's probably the best way to go. My son always had a, a stuffed animal that he would play with and he would try and sleep on it, use it as a pillow. That's where I came up with the concept that we can combine a plush animal with uh, a pillow. Parents thought they were a stuffed animal, but when we showed them that they actually had a function, their eyes lit up. And at that moment, I knew I, I was on to something. I always wanted my own product to develop, and we took a chance. So she created the, the line of the, the pillow pets from that. Entrepreneurship has always been the driving force behind America's success. We often associate entrepreneurs with small businesses, but did you know that many very big companies like DuPont, Avon, Walmart, Kodak, Procter & Gamble, Ford Motor Company and Amazon.com were all started by entrepreneurs. They may have started out small, but their companies grew into giants, creating countless jobs and making a huge impact on our economy. We had just come off a year where we had a sum total of seven and a half million dollars of sales. As it turned out, Pillow Pets ended up being way bigger than any of us anticipated. We sold over 15 million units last year. This year we're on track to beat that number. Entrepreneurship may not be for everyone, but those who decide to start their own business often feel the potential rewards far outweigh the risk. There are many reasons people become entrepreneurs, including the opportunity to live the American dream, doing something they're passionate about, the potential reward of profit that their business may bring them, the independence of being their own boss, and the challenge of turning an idea into reality. These same reasons were the catalyst to Telfer's success with Pillow Pets. We took a lot of risks starting uh, the Pillow Pet business. If you want your business to grow, you have to take the chances. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We knew because of our background being salesmen that we could sell the product. So for us, that was a minimal measured risk. So what does it take to be an entrepreneur? Would you make a successful one? Entrepreneurs definitely have certain personality traits that aren't simply learned or acquired. Some of those traits include being self-directed or self-disciplined enough to be your own boss, self-nurturing enough to believe in your idea when many others won't, action-oriented to see your idea through to fruition, a high energy level to work long and hard, and a tolerance of uncertainty for the many times when the future may not seem so clear. If you liked algebra in high school, those long equations, then you probably like being an entrepreneur. Some people will tell you that it's not about the money. Well, with success will come money. People that I know who have regular paychecks, they know exactly how much they're gonna make. At the end of the year, they know how much they're gonna make. At the end of their retirement, they know when they're gonna retire. We don't know any of those things, and we've never known that. And that's what brings some excitement to life. So, you know, is it about the money? Sure, but what you can do, what you can achieve in business is very exciting. For those looking to be their own boss, there are many different types of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurial teams are formed by two or more people who join together to start a new business. Much like Jennifer Telfer, who along with her husband Clint, market their pillow pets line under their company CJ Products. Micropreneurs start businesses with the goal of a balanced lifestyle and staying small. Most micropreneurs are home-based businesses, 
web-based businesses have the appeal of reaching broad markets with much smaller overhead and startup costs. And lastly, many large companies create opportunities for entrepreneurs to work freely and creatively as entrepreneurs within corporations. I would say one of the best steps I ever did was put our website on the tag of the animal and we developed a website. The internet part of our business is one of the actually the more profitable parts of the business. It's very important that that website runs properly and increases uh, just because of the margin available and the profit that can be earned from it. So let's take a moment to talk about the importance of small businesses. You probably didn't know that there are over 20 million small businesses in the United States. 750,000 new ones are started every year. These small businesses create 75% of all new jobs and account for over 50% of our country's GDP. Plus, 80% of all Americans find their first job in small business. Doesn't seem so small after all, does it? Being an entrepreneur and being a, a business owner creates a lot of opportunity, not just for yourself, but for everybody around you. Because you're not just helping yourself, but you're helping society, you're helping kids, creating jobs for the parents. It's a win-win-win. By expanding into, into different markets, allowed us to hire tons of people. We started off with one factory in China, and we're using six right now. You figure each factory has three to 600 people each. You know, some people say to us, you sell something that's made in China. We do sell something that's made in China, absolutely. And we're an American company selling it. And we employ many Americans, whether it's a small store owner or a, a warehouse guy at Hello Pets headquarters. It's definitely an honor to sit here and say, my creation is helping thousands of people with new jobs. If you're ready to take the entrepreneurial plunge, there are some things you can do to prepare yourself that can greatly help your chance of success. Learning about entrepreneurship from others through books, classes, or internet resources is a must. If you can, get at least three years experience working for another small business, preferably one that is comparable to the business you want to start. Another option is to work for another small business with the intent of eventually sharing profit or taking over ownership from the current owner. My father was an entrepreneur, my sister is an entrepreneur, my older brother is an entrepreneur. The talk about money, profit and loss, pay this much for a product, you retail it for this much, that's how you make money. I learned that when I was 10. Before Pillow Pets, my husband and I uh, started our company. We did trade shows and fairs. So we would always be on the lookout for new products. It allowed me to take a new product, something that somebody hadn't seen before, and trying to make it so exciting that they had to have it, no matter what price it was. All those experiences definitely help get me to where I am today. The Small Business Administration reports that 90% of small business failures are a result of poor management. Let's talk about some of the aspects of managing a small business, such as planning, getting funds, knowing your customers, managing employees, keeping records, and looking for help. What made Pillow Pets a success, uh, one is design, two is quality, and three is, is how we marketed it. We did not compromise on the quality of the merchandise. We did not compromise on design. There's other folding pillows out there, but we've got the absolutely the best one. Best quality, safety tested, and I think the cutest. One of the failures we had in, in business was a new design in, in lighting, Christmas lighting. I made two mistakes. I tried to grow the, the company too fast, too quick, and number two... We invested uh, with the wrong manufacturer. So we ended up getting product that came in that wasn't UL approved. For the most part, didn't even work. Yeah, yeah, that was a that was a uh, that was a tough year and a half to get back on our feet after that. It's often said if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Writing a business plan before you start your business may not always predict how everything's going to happen, but it's an exercise in making you think through every aspect of your business and truly increases the chances of your success. When I came in, we developed a business plan. That business plan has altered and changed 40 different times. If something else comes into your business, a different branch, a different idea, you have to be able to accomplish accommodate that and grow with it and understand that parts of your business that you had planned out to go in this direction might have to change a little bit. Your directions have to have to change to accommodate new directions. Getting money to fund your business is essential. 
Without proper funds, your business won't even get off the ground. Entrepreneurs get money to start their businesses from sources such as their own personal savings, borrowing from friends or relatives, bank loans, venture capitalists, or government agencies, such as the SBA. When we launched Pillow Pets, we strictly were comfortable with just taking the $50,000 we had left on credit cards and use that alone to fund our business. And every time we would roll that capital, we would go months, weeks, uh, sometimes years without taking a, uh, a paycheck, taking the profit out of the company and leaving it in the company. A true entrepreneur doesn't really look at, oh, what can I pay myself? A true entrepreneur is gonna make sure that that company has the money to run itself. To be an entrepreneur, to, to be a business owner, you have to be willing to take risks. If you don't feel comfortable with it, and it's best not to have your own business. Knowing your customers and your market is also critical to your success. Jennifer and Clint Telfer didn't just come up with a great idea, they actually had years of experience in marketing and selling retail products that aided greatly to their success with the Pillow Pets venture. At the beginning, I would say it was just for kids. And then I started to change the designs to make it more appealing because I wanted the tweens and the teenagers to like it too. Naturally from three to 10, that you would think that would be our core market because it's cute, it's soft, it's kind of like, but everybody, everybody loves a soft plush toy. As Pillow Pets grows, we're trying to grow our demographic at the same time. Sports line adds another demographic, adding the Disney line adds another demographic. We don't want to appeal just to eight and under kids. I want to appeal from everyone from 100 and under. Starting your own business often means working long hours and handling every part of running the business. But as your business grows, the need for hiring employees and outside consultants to help with operations, accounting, and the legal aspects of the business quickly becomes evident. Your company will let you know where you're weak. And that's exactly what we found out just happened very quickly. In, in one moment, the internet is going very strong and that becomes your focus. Then a new product comes out and we hit the mass retail. We have to adapt to that change. This business is all about constant adaptation. It is do or die. If you don't adapt, then you will not survive. The American dream is based on entrepreneurship. Whether your goal is to get filthy rich or to simply work from home in your pajamas, starting your own business is one of the best ways to achieve that goal. The question is, do you have what it takes to be an entrepreneur? If you are an aspiring entrepreneur, definitely make sure that the product you want to launch or the idea that you have is something that you just you feel in here. The money, the, the everything else will come later. Don't focus so much on that. Even if you don't have the startup capital to start your idea or your business, save your money. Save your money and take that money and put it into something that you love. If you love what you do, uh, it makes life a whole lot easier. Not just for you, but also for, for everybody around you.